Benny, kill me, Benny, please, Benny. No! What are the good die young? <laughs> Star Wars. So. Much. Star Wars. Movie Star Wars. TV Star Wars. Book Star Wars. Thumb Star Wars. Mac and Cheese Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. Jesus Christ, this is terrifying. Please get this off my screen. The Star Wars franchise is as oversaturated as they come, but we just can't help but get roped back into the story. The rich universe, the memorable characters, and the amazing writing. Somehow Palpatine returned. <laughs> but the coolest part about Star Wars has got to be how awesome lightsabers are. There are two types of people in this world. People who wish they could hold a real life lightsaber, and the people who are lying to themselves. Wanting to wield a lightsaber is simply part of the human condition. Imagine being able to actually wield a lightsaber, and imagine how amazing it would be to wield one in your favorite game of all time. I'm saying this because, uh, I spent $400 on a strange bat saber. $400 on a weapon reskin, what was I thinking? I could have done so much other things with that money. I could have bought a Nintendo Switch, a, a PS5, an actually good microphone, or just an actual goddamn lightsaber replica. The allure of using a lightsaber and becoming a Jedi in my favorite video game was too strong and lured me into the dark side of financial decisions, a pathway to many purchases some may consider unnatural. But hey, as long as I'm stuck with this testament to my empty wallet, why not turn it into a challenge? After all, I've gotta master this blade and become a Jedi in Team Fortress 2. And how else to show my proficiency with the Bat Saber than to get 1,000 kills with it, just like I did with the syringe gun. So with the challenge in place, all I need now are some ground rules. Rule number one is my only way of damaging enemies is the Bat Saber. After all, blasters are so uncivilized. Yeah, get ready for a bunch of ham-fisted Star Wars references, they're not going anywhere. Rule number two is I can only play on official Valve servers on standard game modes. Playing on something like Medieval Mode would make the challenge too easy. And I mean, come on. Does this even look like a Star Wars? Rule number three, the most famous ability of the Jedi is using the Force, of course. So it only makes sense that my Jedi Scout could also use the Force. Short stop shove. I can shove people using the shortstop. Surely this will be a game changer. And with all the rules in place, it's time to begin my journey to 1,000 kills with the Bat Saber. But quick, a word from our sponsor. Are you tired of your boring old skins and looking for beautiful new ones? Tradeit.gg is your place to go for easy and secure trades within seconds. Simply pick and choose whatever item you want to trade from Tradeit's huge inventory. Verify the trade on Steam and you're ready. With the lowest fees in the market and a beautiful, easy to use UI, Tradeit also offers you the option to instantly sell your items for cash. We accept a wide variety of payment methods such as PayPal, credit cards, and cryptocurrencies. With thousands of trusting users and a great support team, Tradeit.gg is the go-to place whenever you want to try out fancy new skins. Start trading today at TradeIt.gg. And it's not just limited to CSGO skins either. You can trade CSGO items for TF2, TF2 for TF2, whatever you want to do. The world is your oyster. I also got a referral code for some sick bonuses. Thanks TradeIt.gg for sponsoring my video. Now, let's get 1,000 kills. Whoa, George, put down the gun, man! Don't steal my intellectual property. It doesn't need to come to this, George. L look, see, I, I got a Han Solo Funko Pop. You do like Funko Pops, right, George Lucas? Mm. Uh, I like to chew on them. It keeps me calm. Okay, all right, so, so how about you take the Funko Pop and we put down the gun, okay, George? <sighs> okay. I'll take the Funko Pop. Oh. Okay. Oh, jeez. Mm. Tasty, like an ice cream cone.
In the process of recovering from an illness that left me bedridden for three days, I figured absolutely nothing on this planet would make me feel better than doing nothing but using the Bat Saber for multiple days in a row. The first step of my journey was to truly make the Bat Saber my own. Such an expensive collector's piece and sophisticated weapon deserves a fitting name. So would I name it something dignified, or perhaps a cheeky Star Wars reference? Or would I name it something incredibly idiotic and stupid, most likely in relation to potty humor, like Fart Wars, Revenge of the Shit? Look, I, I don't know what else you expect from me. My secondary of choice for day one was the Mad Milk, which is a reference to the famous awe-inspiring scene where Luke Skywalker squirts alien titty milk. To seal the deal, I made sure to cobble together my best Anakin Skywalker cosplay. Alright, first match, here we go. Uh, hopefully... This isn't terrible. <laughs> After loading into my first match, the first kill of the entire challenge was on a bot. And I took that as a good sign of the things to come. What do you guys think was the, uh, better movie trilogy? The original Star Wars movies or, 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 the Fred movie trilogy? Shut up. However, it didn't take very long for me to throw out all of those hopes I had as the crushing reality of what I have just gotten myself into began to set in. Things weren't going so hot. It was during this first match that I encountered what would be the three biggest counters to Jedi Scout. The first of which is random melee crits. Oh. Even with a random crit, Scout's bat requires more than one swing to take down any enemy. If an enemy gets a random melee crit on me, they only need one. God damn it. Even if I have maximum overheal. And it's not like random melee crits are particularly rare, either. The second big counter is sentry guns. Oh my god. Why? Why? If you're playing a scout normally, sentry guns are already the bane of your existence. But when you're limited to using only your melee weapon, it's like taking a wound and rubbing a handful of kosher salt into it. And then applying a nice coat of icy hot. Seriously, playing against sentry guns with the Jedi gimmick is horrible. Pop it so I can take down the sentry. No! No! The last counter is oddly enough, the backburner. I swear I have never seen the backburner used this much in my life. This challenge was looking to be hard. I debated quitting right there. But when the going gets rough, you can't just quit. When Hitler was rap battling Darth Vader in Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader didn't give up. Darth Vader clapped back with one of the greatest verses of all time. It's not like I could quit even if I wanted to. If I quit during the syringe gun challenge, it'd hurt my pride, sure. But if I quit this challenge, I'll be down $400 and my pride. As hard as it was, I had to see this thing through. After a very rough first match, I got placed into Frostwatch. If Whatville is the worst map added in TF2 history, then Frostwatch has got to be a close second. The map is so cramped and tiny, it feels less like a TF2 map and more like a fight at your local Waffle House. Hey, that's not fair, they're just spamming plates. My confidence was at an all-time low. Oh god, it's this map. But, just when things were looking grim, a miracle happened. Med down, med down! The med pick! The med pick! Come on! Yes! Thanks, medic! An absolute Chad medic comes out from nowhere to pocket me. With the power of Uber Charge, the tight hallways and chokes of the map were suddenly in my favor as enemies had nowhere to run to escape my rampage. Pop it, yes! Here we go again! Here we go again, it's gonna be huge! Yes! Yes! Alright, bed, bed down. Sheesh! Sheesh! It's huge! Sheesh! Okay, engineer's next. Oh, holy crap! I went 
on a 10 kill streak, absolutely blowing my past performance out of the water. However, I'll give you one guess as to how that kill streak ended. Oh, with the random crits again! No! By the end of the match, I was left with 28 kills and a newfound sense of confidence going forward. I learned that pocket medics were going to be a very valuable asset going forward. As the day continued, I got kills, I got pocketed, but most importantly, I died to those goddamn backburner pyros. Seriously, why does every pyro use it now? Oh, let's go! Wait, where'd that medic go? They just freaking... The, the... What? The highlight of the day was striking down two heavies using only my bat saber. I mean, who cares if they had this situational awareness of a goddamn nematode? It's still cool. At the end of day one, I got 159 kills. Unfortunately, shortly after taking this screenshot, I succumbed to my illness and died. So, I couldn't play again until day two. I was really looking forward to day two of the challenge because today was the day I got to play as Yoda himself. Uh, unfortunately, he came down with a nasty case of jaundice. Old man should have laid off the juice. The day started out very rough with death after death after death. A sane man can only be random melee crit so many times before he starts to lose it. Oh my god, with the random crits! Dead help! I also had no luck using my Jedi clout tricks to get a medic pocket. Medic, do you want do you want to pocket a Jedi Master? Yeah. No! Medic, no! Why did the good die young? So it seems today, I'd have to go without a pocket medic. But I mean, how bad could that possibly be? Pro tip? A good Jedi is always sneaky, and they always wait for the right moment to strike. Like this. How are you not dead? Was that man running the gunslinger with the rescue ranger? Very bad! I feel like now is a good opportunity to talk about the Bat Saber and just what makes this challenge so hard. Except Scout and Spy, every class's default melee functions identically dealing 65 damage per swing every 0.8 seconds. Scout is a special little lad, however, as his melee is objectively worse than the other classes, dealing 35 damage every 0.5 seconds, which means I'm already at a significant disadvantage using only the bad. Then, you factor in that enemies can use guns, and things are looking very rough for me. The only way for me to reliably score kills is by getting a random crit. The default chance to get a random crit with a melee weapon is 15%, which isn't high, but I can raise that to a 60% chance depending on the amount of damage I do. Essentially, the challenge is dependent on RNG, and the odds are not in my favor. Ah, why were none of those random crits? Every encounter is rolling the dice on whether or not I get obliterated before I can even get off the first swing. The Bat Saber is a total scam. I don't even feel like a Jedi at all, unless your definition of being a Jedi is watching the Order 66 scene on repeat for a week straight. I mean, at least I still got one tiny thing to give me the edge. My precious Yoda juice. Alright, I coated the medic in my Yoda juice. Get them, get them. All right, I doused the scout in my Yoda juice. All right, they're covered in Yoda juice. Get them. All right, Yoda juice out. Get them, get them. Uh, what exactly is Yoda juice? Uh, it's Yoda juice. Don't worry, they have something we could never have. Right, other way around. We have something they could never have. That, oh, but also the power of friendship. 12 seconds later. My desire to become a Jedi was burning out fast as the challenge became increasingly boring to do and difficult. But there were the rare high moments that kept me going, such as the time I brutally spawn camped an enemy medic for free kills. Soldier? Nah. Medic! Okay. 
Got him. Five seconds later. This medic's dead again. <laughs> no way! Can I just get away with doing it again? Five seconds later. Okay, sniper, I don't care about him. I don't care about them. Okay, there's the medic, there's the medic! <laughs> I'm toxic. I'm so toxic. <laughs> oh. Fab actual fucking seconds later. Okay, and there's the medic. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of two, I will. My favorite game it is. I swear, you are the what? You, oh, you are calling me right now. You are the what? Am I? Because my name says Yoda in real life. Stop, now, stop, stop, if I was stop, not, head, if I was it's, not it's Yoda it's in real life, then why would my name be? <laughs> YouTube saying you bought a bad saber. You bought a bad saber earlier. But if my name was Explain the what, yourself. then my name would be the what? I'm Yoda in real life. I have a fucking Franklin on this game. Language. Come on, you want to pocket a Jedi Master? Of course. Alright. Amazing. I think you mean Jedi Grandmaster, actually. And actually, I think you mean Jedi Grandmaster, actually. You no, know, I actually don't think Charger Jar Binks is that annoying. You know? Yes, he, yes, he is annoying, but not that annoying. I mean, yeah, he, he's like, he's super overhated. I actually have this really cool, like, $300 Jar Jar Binks figurine. I like to keep it in a little mason jar. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I'm I like to take it into the bath. I bathe with it. Play, you like playing with your, with your little bubbles and stuff? I like playing in my little bubble bath with my little Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks also, is like, overhated. He's a really cool character. Like, if if Jar Jar Binks was in real life and he came up to me, I might even like kiss him on the mouth or something. Give him a kiss. You know, give him a little kiss Just on the mouth. Like, no, 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 no. Just a little pet to show my appreciation. My air blasted. Never fear, Yoda is here. Soon after. Okay. My job here is done. You're you're welcome. At the end of day two, I had 348 kills. I just hope as time goes on, this gets easier to do. What the? What is good? His name is perfect. He's just in a permanent state of not knowing what's going on. Hell yeah! Man, this shit is easy! Oh yeah! Oh wait... This is the wrong game. I started day three with an epiphany. Back when I was a young little homunculus, I played exclusively on Hightower. I knew I had to try for the challenge. That this had to be the game-winning strategy. But why Hightower of all maps? Because Hightower has its own unwritten code of honor that everybody follows. The three sacred laws a good Hightower player will always abide by are don't cap the point, don't kill friendlies, and last but most importantly, don't build sentry guns outside the designated areas. With long rounds, an open map, and minimal sentry guns, mowing down people with the bat saber should be a breeze. Ah, my old stomping grounds. It was time to get my grind on. This calls for some intense music. Oh, oh shit! It fell out. Uh, now, I, now all I got on hand is this.
But it didn't take long for me to realize that even in such a familiar and friendly place, I wasn't safe here. Oh my god. It seems no matter where I go, there's no easy way out. The problem wasn't the map I was playing on, it was the weapon I was using. Playing high tower won't stop random crits, pyros, or even sentry guns. There isn't a single good matchup for the Jedi Scout. Scout, he'll just shoot you. Soldier, in your dreams. Pyro, backburner. Demo man, random crit. Heavy, fat chance. Engineer, <laughs> everything about being a Jedi Scout sucks. In the syringe gun challenge, I learned to work with the weapon, improve my movement, and secure kills with the syringe gun. I got good with the syringe gun, but there's no getting good with the bad. You just run in and hope you get good odds. The syringe gun challenge might have been more mechanically challenging, but at least it demanded something more than sheer luck out of me. That's it! I don't want to be a Jedi anymore. I give up. No, give up. You must not. Yoda, is that really you? Yes, dear Padawan. One overdose on fentanyl lace blunt and I, I did. Give up, I did not. Complete challenge. Then become true Jedi. You must. I just can't bring myself to do it, Yoda. It's just too hard. True. What they say is, Amsel of Boozy, you are. Jesus, is that you? That's right, the what? I was a Jedi too. In fact, I had a lightsaber duel with Elon Musk just last week for removing my Twitter verification. Becoming a Jedi isn't easy, but I believe in you, because you are swag and awesome. All you need is a new approach. Jesus out. Remember, subscribe to the Wood Show and ring the bell. You must. <laughs> huh. A new approach. Perhaps I, I have been going about this all wrong. The map choice and secondary choice isn't going to magically improve my performance. No, 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 no. What I need is to change up my approach to the challenge itself. Starting tomorrow, I need to make a radical shift. I, I just hope Jesus is right, because last time, he told me to invest in FTX, and that one didn't work out. I ended the day just over halfway done. I need to find out what I can do to beat this challenge and avenge my lost $400. I knew I couldn't continue with the approach I was taking to the challenge before. I don't think me walking around getting annoyed at a 15 year old video game for not letting me do a lackluster gimmick was gonna make for enthralling content, unless your other favorite form of content is baby sensory videos. What I needed was some spice, a little kick to make the challenge more interesting. So I decided to stream the rest of the challenge over the course of three days. The only TF2 players more unhinged than me are my fans. With a silly chat to bounce off of and boundless shenanigans incoming, I felt assured I could get through the challenge and have a much better time doing so. One thing that I didn't consider, however, is by streaming the challenge and therefore exposing the challenge to the public, I accidentally activated my YouTuber buff. Immediately, Joey Cheerio offered to pocket me, and for the rest of the challenge, I would have a healthy supply of various pocket medics at my disposal. And I have like- What is- Is this three medics? Oh my god! Let's go. I'm never dying. Jesus was right. This new approach is doing wonders so far, and I haven't even gotten into a game yet. Now, does having a medigun crazy glued to your rectum trivialize the challenge a little bit and make it significantly easier? Yes! Yippee! You you are misremembering those what bill streams because this is far more sane by comparison. I don't think I've said anything truly off the wall yet. Fave. What is your favorite flavor of asbestos? I don't know. No matter what flavor of asbestos I get, it always just kind of tastes like blood. The goal was to play as much King of the Hill as I could. Just like the syringe gun challenge, I found myself having the best luck on King of the Hill maps. They're small, open, and easy to navigate, which means less choke points and sentry guns to worry about. Things were going great, too. I was getting some insane luck with my random crits. Come on, get over here. Straight upgrade. Whoa! What are the other distance? What?! That was five random crits in a row! What the hell?! For the first time in the challenge, I was actually beginning to perform pretty well. 
besides those goddamn backburner pyros. It seemed like I could take anyone on with the Bat Saber and at least have an okay chance of coming out on top. Not to mention the moral support of my viewers gave me the confidence to push forward. The endless heals from my harem of medics also kept me nice and healthy the entire day too. With everything going smooth, I decided to tell my chat a tale. A tale of the lost Mario character, Scario. Back when I was a child, I would play a lot of Mario games on the Game Boy. And one character I remember that no one else seems to was called Scario. He was like Mario, except he had pink clothes, longer limbs, and an unsettling face. I've recreated a picture of what Scario possibly might have looked like to help jog your memory. But beware, as some viewers may find the following photo disturbing. If anyone has any info on what game this character appeared in or evidence of their existence, please say so in the comments. I'll be scouring for any proof I can find. Thank you. Stop gaslighting with Scario, it's making me wish he was real. He is real! Scario is real! This livestream started from getting kills with a bat saber to investigating the mystery of Scario. Yeah, I have a habit of getting sidetracked like that, but this is important. This is very important stuff. The night carried on wonderfully, with me actually beginning to top score in matches. Perhaps it might be possible to actually get good with the Bat Saber, but, but I'm not holding my breath. Nonetheless, I carried on until I hit a massive lag spike, and despite trying to power through it to mixed results... It's, it's playing to my favor though, I'm getting more kills than ever. God damn, I gotta, log I gotta lag more often! Look at, look at what happens when I'm lagging! Sheesh! I figured it was the Force's way of telling me to rest for the night. So I ended day 4 at a whopping 694 kills. Thanks to streaming, I was able to finally make large strides in the challenge with a fraction of the headache. Hopefully, the streaming approach wasn't a one-off fluke. When I woke up, I immediately ran to the Whatmobile and raced to the Whatplex to start the stream. But when I got on, I realized something terrible. I was in stupid mode. And this wasn't your standard case of stupid mode either. I had terminal stupid mode. And you never stream with terminal stupid mode. But I had a duty to do. So I started up the challenge again, knowing the consequences that would follow. I tried to warn my viewers I was in stupid mode but it did nothing to stop me. Like I said, I'm sorry guys, I'm not here mentally. You're about to hear some stupid bits. Some stupid jokes. You gotta take the high ground and smoke some Zaza, mm -hmm. Anakin. Johnson, face cam. Anakin, you gotta smoke some Zaza and get the high mm -hmm. ground. Johnson, face cam. Man, you kill me, man, you kill me, man, you kill me. Thank you. No, heal me, Medic. Heal me. Heal me, Medic. Heal me. He's crazy. That guy's crazy. Heal me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, heal me, Medic. Engineer, behind you. There is a spy who's going to backstab you. Oh my god. Why don't they ever listen? The what? I finally caught you streaming. Yes. You caught me live. Now behold. I'm even unfunnier on the air! Even though I had the mental maturity of a 12-year-old that just snorted a line of fun dip, the challenge itself was going just fine. I was still scoring kills even though I had less medics than the first day of the challenge. However, I was about to drop a bomb on my chat. Oh, Thumb Wars? Thumb Wars is a really good franchise. Remember, remember the Star Wars movies they made, but instead of people, they're thumbs? It's really cool. They look like thumb people. And thumbs are like the funniest finger. I brought up Thumb Wars, a Star Wars parody movie created in 1999 that, get this, replaced all of the characters with thumb people. Some frog legs. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Riveting content, I know. Apparently this was a whole franchise with multiple movies including Blair Thumb, Bat Thumb, the God Thumb, and Thumb f***ing Tannic. Yes, the horrible disaster that led to the demise of over one and a half thousand people in the freezing Atlantic got turned into a parody movie where they're all thumb people. 
that's the modern day equivalent of Thumb 911, which that one didn't take off quite as much granted. Can't wait to bust out the magnifying glass and keep a lookout for the Thumb version of Great Grandpa Lewis. Now, you may be thinking, what do Thumb parody movies have to do with the Bat Saber? Absolutely nothing. But for the rest of the stream, it absolutely dominated all of the conversation. Are you a real thumbhead? What's your favorite thumb movie? What's your favorite thumb themed movie? Pretty soon, fans of the thumb franchise, calling themselves thumbheads, invaded every server I went on, and I pretty much had a mental breakdown. The Thumb Shank Redemption! The Thumb Father! The Thumb Knight! Thumbler's List! Lord of the Thumbs! Return of the Thumb! I think that one's actually real, hold on. The good, the bad, and the thumbly. Forest Thumb! You guys like Forest Thumb? I'm so glad everyone in chat has taken such a liking to the thumb bit. Mission ends in uh, unfortunately for the thumb haters in chat, it's the only bit you get now. Now I'll spare you the rest of the thumb discussion, but what is important is that I was rapidly improving with the Bat Saber over the course of the stream. Spy mains have to train for years to accomplish what I can do, running around like a madman getting good RNG. I'm so dead. Oh wow, sick, Trer- Oh, he's doing it again! He's going for the sick trick stab! Oh, and he's dead rendered in the corner. Whoa, what a cool spy! You guys see that awesome stair stab? No freaking way. Freaking sweet. Dude watched one Mr. Paladin video. <laughs> oh my god. If I dare say it, I was actually beginning to feel like a Jedi. Three, two, one, go. Ready for a final day, you are. The final day. The end of the saga. Today would be the day. I avenge my lost $400 and finally become a TF2 Jedi. All of the suffering and the monotony of the previous days all leading towards this glorious moment. I could almost taste the victory. It was so close. And I had an audience of over 100 people with me, anticipating every next second. The stream started out on an interesting note too, with me getting a very unique donation from a viewer. <laughs> Someone sent me a trade offer with the head prize and called it the What's First Sona. Guys, I truly have gone to the dark side of the force. I'm a furry now. <laughs> I'm a furry now. With me making the decision to become a furry, I knew I had to be unique. What's it? What's a stupid, no good, ugly? Oh, I got an idea. Okay, yes, that's my persona. That's my persona. I'm an eye eye. You guys ever seen an eye eye before? The eye eye is a monkey that comes from Madagascar. That's special for one, having a very large finger for digging bugs from trees, and two looking like this. Over the course of the stream, many art pieces of me would roll out to be put on the screen, but I couldn't distract myself too hard because I still had a goal to focus on. Get over here. I will, I will F you up, Merle. I'm not even freaking kidding. You know, at one point in my life, I had, uh, I had All Star by Smash Mouth memorized beginning to end. Let's see if, uh, let's see if, let's see if that part of my brain is still there. Uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna say it like slam poetry because my voice is too direct to actually have to say it. Ahem. Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kinda dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. And everybody with me! And all that glitters go on. Sing it with me in chat, everybody. All the shooting stars break the broken. Bad saber. <laughs> I hardly, I hardly know her. <laughs>
Over the course of many bad jokes and many deaths, I was working harder than ever to get kills, and eventually, I finally breached the 900 mark. Less than 100 kills to go. I've improved so much, and I was so hungry for victory. I even started outperforming all of my teammates and top scoring in matches. With the challenge almost over, a helping hand stepped in to help. Ninevolt, an owner of a Burning Flames team captain, offered to pocket me until I hit 1,000 kills. Having a Burning Flames team captain pocket medic while you mow down people with a strange bat saber has got to be the hardest flex in TF2 history. So imagine my surprise when they managed to convince a second Burning Flames team captain owner to pocket me as well. This is the hardest flex in TF2 history. Nothing will ever come close. Yes, this photo does go hard, and yes, you can screenshot it. I won't judge. Together, we had one goal. Annihilate poor people. The scout, on, on the other hand, is mine. He's mine. Oh my god, just walk into my bat saber already. Oh! All jokes aside, even with my improving skill in pocket medics, the challenge still wasn't a cakewalk. 955, 983, 987, it was almost time. Remember folks, you were here. Remember where you were when the what hit 1000 kills on the bat saber. Team 10, bitch, who the hell are flipping you? Man, you're cringe. What are we at? What are we at? Nine. That's nine, right? Eight? 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 A seven? Seven? Six? Six? We're six kills away from greatness. Oh my god, it's happening. It was worth the $400, guys. It was worth the $400. All building up to this glorious moment. Right, let's feel good. Will I kill the spy? Yes! That would be a Three! Three, 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 three. Just gotta bait him out. Yeah, come at me. Oh, two, two left, two left, two. Come on, come on, get over here, get over here, get over here, you silly fool, you silly freaking fool. No. <laughs> at another time, a random crit like that would have been soul crushing, but now. It's nothing but a minor misstep. Okay, that's... Oh, we are one away, we are one away. Hold on, I gotta get this prepared, I gotta get this prepared. One kill left until I became a Jedi. My hands were shaking. My chat sat breathless. I carefully maneuvered my way around the various friends because for my last kill, I had to make sure that I earned it. With the tension so thick you could cut it with a knife, I started a drum roll. All right, here we go, here we go. Remember guys, you were here. You were here when it happened. You're friendly, I can't kill you. Come on. Yes! 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 We did it! We did it! Yes! Yes! Everybody in chat, celebrate! Celebrate! Everybody! I want to see it in chat! I want to see you guys celebrate! Remember, you were here! You were here! I finally did it! After putting up with all of the random crits, sentry guns, backburner pyros, and painful monotony, I managed to pull through and managed to get 1,000 kills on the Bat Saber and become a Jedi in TF2. And, as I sit here, I no longer feel ashamed. 
for spending $400 and can finally let it go. Congratulations, Foot. I knew you could do it. Wait, could it be? That is right. I am the $400 you spent on a useless virtual item. Now that you've learned to let me go, I can finally move on to money heaven, where I never need to worry about being spent on V-Bucks or crypto scams ever again. Thank you, Foot. Me go to heaven now. Bye bye forever, Hell Nato. So, um, that just happened. Natala told you not to steal my intellectual no, 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 property. No, 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 no. Wait, George, we can talk about this. Yeah, nerd. Weapon reskins in TF2 